Everybody and welcome to She Shaves with your host Jill. I am indeed Jill. So, ooh, guess what this video is about today? Yep, if you follow the channel, you know that last Thursday I cut off the entries for my 300 sub giveaway with some nice prize uh, to go to the winner. And um, the um, entry information was kind of hidden in one of my videos so you have to really follow my channel because I do not do a big announcement with a title 300 sub giveaway it was semi hidden in one of my videos so in the future if you want to win a nice prize you have to pay attention and be following my channel so if you haven't already subscribe now hit that little bing dong next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified when my next video is up. So I'm so excited to be doing the drawing uh, for the winner of my 300 sub giveaway. And I just want to just want to give you guys a huge hug and a huge thank you for your continued support. Who knew five and a half months ago when I started my channel uh, in August of 2018 that it would grow um, this quickly. Um, it, it's just been a, a great fun adventure. I love to interact with the viewers. Um, I love to get your questions. I like to see your comments. The more comments you give me, the better. Uh, sharing all of our own shave experiences is uh, what it's all about. If you have any questions at all, please, the information will be down below with my email. Just email me if you have any concerns or uh, whatever, you can always contact me at that email. So again, thank you to all of you for your support. Um, it took me a couple of months of prodding and, and poking by uh, certain people uh, to finally have started my channel. And um, I'm forever grateful for all of you that did that and continue to support me. So without further ado, let's talk about the giveaway. So on that video that I did uh, to let you know what the prizes would be, um, there were two different razors that I used. And um, one was this particular razor. It's a um, uh, Super Speed from 1954. I didn't bring my paper in here. Oh crap. Any case, uh, this was the Super Speed and it's in excellent condition. And I just now, I always take good care of my razors and I just now um, totally cleaned it again, um, soaking it in uh, Dawn detergent and rubbing it with uh, toothbrushes and whatever to further clean it. I also um, uh, shined it up with flits. That's the only kind. I buy a lot of vintage razors and that's the only kind of polish that I use is flits because it's it's very very soft on the metals but it does a good job. So it's been totally uh, shined up again and this one is in great condition. 1954 I think this one is. Anyway and I also totally disinfected uh, with alcohol and also with some uh, um, barbicide. So that's cleaned up. The second one is a slim adjustable and it's a, what was it, an L, L2. And for the life of me, I can't remember, but I will be putting a little bubble <laughs> to let you know what year it is. Now, I also did the same thing with this one. There is some there is some discoloration here that I couldn't get rid of with the flits, but I think that might be a tiny bit of uh, plating loss. I don't know. It's not paint or anything like that because I put them in the ultrasonic also for 
uh, a round of 30 minutes uh, each, and uh, if it was paint, it would have come off. But in any case, uh, the numbers are a little worn because anytime you put um, uh, something with paint, the numbers come off. So in this video, I'm also going to show you right here how easy it is to, re uh, to repaint the numbers on a slim adjustable. You just get yourself some testers paint. That's hobby paint. And this is the matte black, I do believe. And you shake it up. It's an enamel. Shake it up good. And unscrew the cap. And you take a toothpick. And then take a toothpick and you dip it into the paint. Let it drip off the most of it. And then you just put it on the numbers. You just cover the numbers and the little dots with it. And you just need to put it on the numbers and the dots. So I've done that all the way around, all the way around on the dots and the numbers. Let that soak in for a little tiny bit. And then you just take a little swab of paper towel or cloth and then you just wipe it. Just run it around it. And it cleans it all up from everything but the numbers. And voila, you have brand new enamel paint numbers and dots. It's that simple to do, folks. Very simple. So, you have your choice of this razor also. Both been sterilized and thoroughly cleaned. And this one is renumbered. Get a little bit more of that off. Okay, the other thing that you had your choice of was a fine badger brush. And here are the two choices. There's the black handled plastic one, and it's more of the brown uh, hairs that are in this one. They're both very soft, very soft. They still can be broken in more to be even softer. When they're wet, they get really soft. And then this one is the darker of the uh, hairs. You can see the difference in the colors, I think. And it's a little bit more scritchy and it's got a wood handle. So these have been cleaned, but I'm also going to take my um, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement um, brush cleaner to them and uh, disinfect them. So you have your choice of either of those. And the other part of the pr uh, prize I told you was Barnyard Bubbles uh, Barnyard Stud. It's a four and a half to five ounce puck of soap and this is with the new formula that has goat's milk in it I believe so that'll be coming with it and then I will also be including some um, random uh, razor blades so to, in order to shave with the prize you have nothing to do but lather up and have at it so without further ado I'm gonna go to my computer and I'm gonna use the um, uh, random picker and if you remember, the rules said you had to say, um, I'm in, and what country you lived in. And um, I think, well, you'll see on the video. There was a minor screw-up on the video, and I explained it in the next part of the video for you all. But congratulations to the winner. I won't say the name right now, because um, you have to see the drawing of it. And again, thank you guys so much. 
love you all. You know I love you all. So we'll see you over at the computer. Bye-bye. Okay, so this is going to be the drawing for the 300 subscriber uh, giveaway. And uh, I'd never used this before. Uh, but when I was looking at it uh, a couple days ago, I don't think it lets me limit it to people that just said I'm in. So if um, the winner comes up and it shows their comment uh, and it doesn't say I'm in, I'll have to do, you know, uh, uh, keep going until one does say I'm in. So this could be a total disaster, but let's try it. So here it tells me to put the URL from the video that, oops, hold on a second. Oh, hold on. Okay, so that was embarrassing. I had my camera in my hand, and I uh, was trying to get the URL to put it in there, copy and paste it into in there. I already had it copied, but I couldn't <laughs> use two hands, so I thought I was pausing the uh, comment picker. So you guys are going to have to trust me on this one, and if you don't trust me, then you know what? We got a report for you to fill out. In any case, uh, the first name that came up was my own, <laughs> so I had to laugh about that. Yes, she shaves with Jill came up, uh, but I didn't say I'm in, so I can't win, but I wouldn't have taken it anyway. Duh, this is for you guys. Uh, so I re-rolled, and uh, the next random pick, uh, pick uh, for the winner was Mike H., and Mike H. left a very wonderful uh, comment on there, but he did not enter uh, to win the win the prize. He just wanted to make a very nice comment, and thank you for that, Mike H. So for the third and final time, it took, and the uh, random uh, pick winner was Joe School. And he did say, I'm in, and he did say what country he's from. I love his comment. I'm in the USA, your royal majesty. <laughs> So congratulations to Joe's school. Again, to everybody, I'm afraid that I, I'm sorry that I screwed up on the drawing, but this was legit. So Joe's school, what you need to do is uh, send me an email by Thursday to, uh, and I'll include the information down below, uh, to Uncommon Dialogue at msn.com. And in that email, uh, put um, 300 uh, sub giveaway as the uh, the uh, title. And then uh, in the body of the email, uh, put your full name, real name, mailing address, and a full mailing address. And I need you to also include your phone number, if you would, please. So you have one, uh, as I said earlier, um, your choice between a uh, Z4 1954 Super Speed vintage Gillette razor, or you can choose the Slim Adjustable, which is an L2, and it's from 1966, uh, second quarter. You also win your choice of the um, two different badger brushes that I demonstrated. Uh, there's one with a black handle and one with a wood handle, and you also will be receiving the four to uh, four and a half to five ounce a uh, puck of Barnyard Bubbles Barnyard Stud. And, of course, I'm going to be including some other goodies in there, some razor blades or whatever. So, again, congratulations, Joe School, and thank you to all of the viewers that have been supporting my channel, She Shaves with Jill. And if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have re reached the 300 mark. So let's start shooting for that 500 mark so we can do another giveaway, okay? So you guys know I love you. And I'm going to get uh, uh, the videos uploaded so that I can post it to let you guys know who won. So again, thank you everybody and congrats again to Joe School. Bye bye for now.